Friday, April 7th. It must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. We've come to the end of the road, folks. The Senate bill filing deadline has come and gone. All the ideas that they have are now out on paper. Uh, we've got concerns about a few bills, including an insurance bill that you're going to be hearing more about in the coming weeks, uh, but they're all there. So we know what we're dealing with, at least in the Senate. Still a couple more weeks of bills to file in the House. So a lot still there to come. Highlights this week though, a couple of bills passed that you should be interested in. First, the synthetic opioid bill. And this is a bill sponsored to make sure that we are capturing all of the different variations of synthetic opioids that are out there and classifying them in the schedule of drugs that are controlled by the state of North Carolina. This passed its first committee through House Health and is moving on now for additional votes. Uh, this is an important bill because this is helping to define those schedule of drugs that we're also looking at in the STOP Act as those that are going to be watched and tracked in the controlled substance reporting system. So we're watching this bill very closely. Uh, also this week in another House Health Committee meeting, the oral parity for cancer treatment bill passed this year. This is a bill that has passed multiple times in the House before, has struggled through the Senate. I would expect that it would probably pass again this year in the House. I'm still not so sure about uh, its success or failure in the North Carolina Senate this year, but this puts on par IV cancer treatment uh, at the same copay as oral cancer treatment. Uh, so like I said, something that's been discussed before and more details online for you about that. Uh, we're going into a little bit of a crazy schedule over the next couple of weeks. April 27th is the crossover deadline, and you've heard us talk about that in the past. That's where a bill without an appropriation or a fee uh, has to move from one chamber to the other. So it has to have gone through all of the committee process and all the floor votes in either the House and move to the Senate or through all those same votes in the Senate and move to the House in order to be eligible for the rest of the session. Now this is no, by no means the end of the bills that don't make it through that process, but this is a threshold uh, for us and one that we're working up towards uh, with a lot more bills and a lot more committee meetings happening over the next couple of weeks. Even though we're working towards that deadline on April 27th, the, the legislature is going to take a break around the holiday, have a kind of a spring break. So next week is going to be a short week, and then we'll be coming back midweek the next. So not sure that we're going to have an update for you. It kind of depends on how much they decide to cram in into one or two days next week. Uh, but until then, you can always look online and continue to check and monitor the blog. That's where we're trying to load up everything so you have those short and quick updates. We'll also have all the links, as we already do, uh, to the action alerts and any new action alerts that come up as a result of the bills that are moving next week. So be sure to look there, chase down anything that you need to talk to your legislators about. This is a great time to make sure that you've scheduled that coffee or that chance for them to stop by your office or just a chance to get together with them for a few minutes because they're going to be home for an extended period of time over this holiday season. So don't miss the chance to follow up with them on the bills of concern around scope of practice and insurance and the things that you care about most. Make sure they hear about it from you uh, in this break before we come back and get into the real flurried season of bills going all different directions for a couple weeks. So check the website, get your talking points, talk to your legislators, and we look forward to updating you again uh, sometime very soon. Take care.